Hello, 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 hello. Um, <laughs> I'm Tayshawn Anthony Grogan from Stewart's Creek High School. Um, I'm currently in 11th grade and I've taken advanced art, art one, art two, and then I'm in art two currently because of a scheduling error. I was supposed to be in art three, but supposedly, according to my guidance counselor, there's no art three. But no shade to her. She's a lovely person. I love that. I love her. She's a great. She's great. But um, let's, let me start. We I just recently moved to Smyrna, Tennessee, from uh Kentucky. But even before that, we were in Houston. So we're, I guess you could say we're we're kind of like nomads. We move around a lot. I mean, it's allowed me to meet new types of people, and you know, obviously experience different kinds of things. So I'm not I'm grateful for it. Plus, my parents have always taken care of me, and my uh my siblings. But we were in Houston for like we were in Houston for a vast majority. But even within Houston, we're moving from like opportunity to opportunity. They're trying to keep us safe and uh, warm, and obviously keep us fed. And then we moved to Murray, Murray, Kentucky, like last year, and we stayed there for like a year and a half. And then we just we just moved to Smyrna, Tennessee, at the beginning of August, and we just got here. And I'm and they're settled in a new school. So this is my first time hearing about Gov School. So and a poor, <laughs> you can only do it as a, a, I think a sophomore or junior. So I was pretty excited to hop on the opportunity, um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I find it very hard to talk about myself, especially like emotionally in the art that I do. But um, I'm going to try to convey my messages, you know, simply and quickly as possible, as some would say. So first, I'm going to start off like basically like I would call them like classroom sketches or like, you know, more developed ideas. But they're, they're, they're basically just doodles that I like to do. So first, we got this one. I think I called this one like. I don't remember. It was in class and I was bored and I had markers and pens and I love drawing with pens. Pens are actually very fun for me. I think I enjoy drawing with pens the most because they feel so smooth and textured. This is this pen and Copic marker. So I just had random Copics lying around in my bag. But I think I, I had a lot of fun with this one. I was having so much fun in class that day. I mean, I probably should have been paying attention, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. My grades are solid. Well, at least at that time they were, but we're here now, we're here now, we're in, we're in the present. This is another classroom sketch. I just be having random ideas. I can't really explain it. My brain wanders off and I just put it on the paper and it just works out sometimes. This is also a pen and I think, this is, no, this is just red and black pen. This is very simple. This is a sketch of a, a not a classmate, a friend. I did some, a long, some time ago. I forgot why, I think I was bored and she like challenged me. I was going through like some artist block and she challenged me to draw her. And I got it done, so yeah, I was pretty uh, satisfied with that. I was pretty happy with it. Now, none of these are like final picks because I'm gonna be making more art next year. And I have one piece of art in Scholastics right now that I don't currently have with me. So I wish I could show you all that one because I really love that one, but I don't have that available to me right now. This is not a classmate, but this is one of like, how do I say this? She's like one of my better known friends. She's not like a classmate or anything specific like that, but I do harbor some feelings for her. But yeah, yeah. And this is one, this, this is just another art friend. You know, she told me some things, taught me some things. I really, you know, took a lot from her. A couple of different things, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully these people never see this. <laughs> and this is just a self-portrait I did some time ago. It was during the summer, I believe. And I, w I think I was looking in the mirror one day and I was like, I really never draw myself. And I think it was a moment of self-exploration almost, but yeah, you sometimes it's just good to look at yourself in the mirror and just draw what you see to make you when you lay down on paper, you can really see how you view yourself if that makes more sense. So your demeanor, your mood, yada yada yada. So now these are all seven by ten. So these are just regular sketchbook size. Now we're gonna move on to the larger pictures, largest larger pieces. I made this like a while ago. This is like I think this is called future ideas. At the time, these little bubbles would show like her plans for the future. And this cloud was like meant to represent life and how sometimes it can just drag you down. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta have these ideas to pull you back up towards greatness, of course. Now I made this one, um, not too, I think it was last year. This was presented in the Berry Center actually. And it was called Future, what's this called? Future Ideas, <laughs> just like the last one. See, at the time, I was really struggling with what I wanted to do in the future and how I wanted to go about making money and making a living for myself, whether it was between art or business, because I want, you know, you hear so much about the starving artist, and I really didn't want that to be me, if that makes sense. I was scared, but 
for now, I'm going to stick with what I know. And then we got this one. I made this one this year. I'm not really too proud of it, but supposedly it looks nice according to my peers and others around me. This is a still life that we did as like a first project of the year in R2. It wasn't hard. I kind of just stalled and waste time, but it was, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it nonetheless. But yeah, those are all I have for now. The selection will probably change up towards the end of the year. But yeah, I don't know. Um, me and Art have been very, have gone on a long, very long journey. About, I think, nine years now. It's crazy. But yeah, this has been uh, Tayshawn Anthony Grogan from Stores Creeks High School in 11th grade in Miss Riser's class. And I, I hope I make it through, I guess. I really do want to make it through, though. That'd be a lot of fun. Summer MTSU. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.